Hello again, let's talk about how a PowerPoint presentation is done. Number one, write titles and subtitles to be remembered easily. Number two, use clear colors for the print to make the information more accessible to our readers. Number three, use a bright background like the color blue as it does not stress the eyes. Number four, choose relevant images because if they are not, this lowers the value of your presentation. Number five, give examples to help your audience remember the information. Number six, include necessary information only, as too much information only leads to the loss of your audience. Let's go ahead and take a look at this sample PowerPoint, and we will comment on the defects and how we can improve it. If you take a look at this PowerPoint, you can see you have a title, which is very brief, and the font is large enough to be read, and then you have very little information on that one slide. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. The second one also, although we started with the content of our presentation, we still include brief comments, just two points, and we are using bullets. Third one, same thing. We are sticking to the same font, the same print, and the same size. If you take a look at this slide, it shows the consistency in the kind of font we are using and the type of print we are using. If you take a look at the next slide, it shows you that the titles usually use bigger font than the content. Why do we do that? That's for emphasis, because you cannot have the same font if you are talking about main ideas, titles, and subtitles. If we take a look at this slide, it shows you that there's a small font, there's a capitalized one, and then there's an inappropriate font that makes it confusing for readers to read. Now the first one, if it's too small, people will not be able to read it, so it's not the appropriate one to use. Now in the second one, you cannot capitalize every word in a sentence. The use of capitalization is usually only for the first letter of a word. If you take a look at the third one, it says don't use a complicated font. There are fonts that are more standard, like Times New Roman, and there are fonts that make the writing more confusing, which is something you do not want to do with your audience. If we want to take a look at the next one, again, the kind of color that you use it has to contrast sharply with the background. So, over here, if you take a look, you can see the background is white and our print is black, which makes the font and the writing very clear for readers to read. But sometimes you can use other colors, like over here, and we use this for emphasis. The next slide gives you an example of how colors are used in a negative way, obviously. It is very colorful and distracting. If we want to emphasize points, we only emphasize that one word that we need to emphasize. But if it's using so many different colors, then you are going to lose your audience. Another thing, the first point you have the print is in yellow on a white background. We can barely see what is written there. And this is not recommended at all because people will not be able to see this or read this point. If we take a look at this background, it is very appropriate because you can see the print clearly. The notes are very brief and we are using bullets so that people can remember what the main ideas are. Again, this is another sample of a really bad background. It is very colorful and distracting. We cannot see the print that is on the screen. It's very hard to read, which means that you will lose your audience and they will not see the point you are making. In the next slide, over here it says, use graphs rather than just charts and words. Of course, if you fill your PowerPoint with words only, you will bore your audience because they need images, they need graphs, and we said charts as well. But at the same time, you make sure that you have to give those things titles. Here you have an example of a graph that is really bad because it is very small. There's no title and we don't really see the point of using the graph. If you take a look at this one, we see appropriate colors that are used. We have a title. We have more information to explain why it's being used. And the font is appropriate and clear enough for us to read. And again, the colors that we use against that background are clear enough. This one, for example, is not recommended because the font is extremely small, so people may miss it. 
the, the shadowing in the background also makes the print not very clear. And the colors against that kind of background are also not very appropriate. Okay, these are the main points that we wanted to cover about preparing our PowerPoint presentation. Hope it was useful and see you in the next video.